Hello guys and welcome again to the Master Android channel In this tutorial we are going to continue the complete Android 10 developer course and learn about the manifest So what is the manifest and how to uh, uh, use it to, uh, inside uh, our application and Android Studio Don't miss the, we are uh, we are showing the lessons and we are created a uh, created the lessons inside our app so uh, it is called master android go to the play store and uh, download it and get all lessons free totally now go, we will uh, go to android studio uh, or android lessons go to components and here we go this is the lessons we uh, lesson we are going to lecture in this tutorial thank you guys see you in the next couple of minutes The manifest folder has just one file inside it. So expand the manifest file folder and double click the android manifest.xml file. So what is the manifest? It is a very important file in your app or our app that contains very important information like permissions, created activities, assigning the themes, Assigning a launcher activity, created the services, created broadcast, created fragments. So it is a very important file that it is written in XML language. So there are a clear, clear, clearly denoted sections which starts with a section name and end with a section name as tags. So this is the XML language. If you don't uh, know about it you can see the uh, the next couple of uh, lessons available on our uh, channel or uh, download master android app from play store and see what uh, are the what is xml language and how to use it very uh, quickly and simply so the real examples of this are the application and application so these are the two tags that are uh, created in the XML in XML language inside the manifest folder or file and activity and closed activity. So indeed, the entire file contents apart from the first line are wrapped inside the manifest and manifest. So uh, later on, we will see in the uh, Android Studio how they work. So. For example, when you need or we need to ask the user for permission to access feature to access features of their devices like recording, uh, like a camera and like other features. So the, uh, we need to ask them uh, for permission. So inside this folder, we will need also to edit this file when we want to make a full screen app for immersion, like perhaps for a game. Uh, so uh, we need to ask permissions or we add the required permissions that we, we need to ask the user for them inside this application. So uh, inside this application manifest file. Now let's see what also manifest files con file contains. But don't miss to like the videos on our uh, channel, subscribe to get daily tutorials. If you want these lessons, you can download our app Master Android from Play Store. So inside the manifest file, fo file or folder, you can see the, the tag application. So the application tag uh, name uh, shows the uh, the application uh, characteristics. So, for example, in this line, we are going to see Android dot icon, and this is our icon. The line shown shown next tell the Android that the icon we we want to show the user in their app drawer or home screen to the launch uh, the app is contained in the map map folder and it is called ic underscore launch so what this is means 
if we look to the the code we see android and at, at two points and icon equal this is a folder we will see in, in next uh, lessons inside this section section number two which is characteristics and the components of android studio so uh, the mipmap folder contained this icon this icon is called ic underscore launcher so inside our manifest folder and our manifest we are assigning or making the icon for our app uh, uh, in uh, uh, our app is called ic underscore launcher so if you need to change the app icon we go we go to the manifest we go and icon uh, android icon and we change the source of icon now let's move to the app name first it de denotes the names or the name that we give to our app and the second the name is contained as a string with a label of app underscore name so what this means in next couple of mi of uh, minutes or uh, videos we will see how to assign or make and store our strings and resources inside the string folder so till now this is the name of our app android the two points uh, our uh, label label is name equal to string this is called a string value you can put here hello or master android or whatever uh, you need but i am assigning uh, i'm storing the value of our name or the app name inside as a string folder and i'm calling it by this way don't worry we will learn all about or, or uh, about all of these concepts in detailed lessons now let's move to the themes the themes we can use the created themes inside in our uh, inside an app or activity using this line so you see or if you uh, denote by uh, android dot or to point the theme so i'm we are seeing that android and the label or the theme or the icon and then we will see or assign the value so here we are we are using the style uh, using a style or a theme from the style folder we will learn all how to create themes in a user interface section so user interface section is section number three so we will define the themes of for our app and use in activities and apps so you can also assign some themes uh, for activities and uh, different uh, other activities are different themes and also you can define for your app now let's discover the manifest file more and more if we scroll down we will see the activity name so uh, uh as uh, activity uh, so what is activities so what is activities what are uh, what are activities what we are talking about now activities are uh, think of activities like uh, uh, some uh, like screens displayed for the user so uh, later on we will learn about activities and activity life cycle inside this section now don't worry uh, we will uh, learn uh, more about them later on so notice that notice that if you copy source codes from another project you need to create like this line so otherwise you will get an error so if you have a source code for uh, like three activities so you copy them inside the java folder but you didn't declare them in the uh, manifest you will get the error so manifest file is a 
the file that contains the declared or the created activities inside your whole app. So manifest contains the declared activities, the created uh, services, the created broadcast, and uh, the declared uh, or required permissions. Launching the activity, if you scroll down inside the, the uh, manifest, you will see like this line. In any app, there are many activities, different pages dif displayed to the user. But we need to specify one activity, a screen displayed, only to be displayed first to the user when opening the app. So when if you make an app that contains 10 pages, but there is only one page you need to display for uh, firstly for the user when the user click on uh, the app icon. So when the app launches, there is a page called uh, the uh, page or uh, launcher activity. This code defines the um, activity that it would be the main launcher activity. So intent filter and intent filter here and activity is called the main and launcher called uh, here is assigned as a launcher activity. So in Java, such as uh, the Android manifest file, or sorry, in XML, such as the Android manifest file, the activity is lowercase, but in Java, the activity class has an uppercase, a capper, uppercase A. So this is, this is, uh, just convention and nothing to be concerned about. So as we have just seen, activity in XML has a name attribute with a value which refers to an instance of a Java activity. If you are facing problems in, uh, problems in understanding, don't worry because the next two lessons will clarify, clarify all concepts and misunderstood ideas. Subscribe, like, and rate us five, our app five stars to keep us alive. Don't miss to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions or if you find us uh, very helpful. Don't um, be, uh, don't hesitate to push us uh, forward to make new videos by subscribing and liking. Thank you, guys. See you in next videos.